blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me today about uh, coming to one o'clock between one and two. And this is urgent because I see a place. The Lord takes me to a place. There is a complex of buildings in that place. Then all of a sudden, we begin to run. The Lord puts me there. So I run. People are running for their lives. The roof, I thought it's an earthquake. So people are shouting, earthquake. I thought it's an earthquake. And we are running. The walls are falling down and so forth. And however, I see the roof, an explosion through the roof. An explosion through the roof. And as we're running to the next building, from outside we meet a lot of shattering that has fallen, which are very reminiscent of an earthquake. And so that's why we're running, saying, is it an earthquake? So we're running. I was running with everyone in there, saying it's an earthquake. I was shouting it's an earthquake. They were shouting it's an earthquake because we're seeing a lot of glass, a lot of walls have fallen, crumbled, and uh, this building, the roof, crew, big explosion over the roof. That's when, again, I stopped. I said, is this really an earthquake or is this is an explosion? So we're running to the next side. With the next building, it also explodes. We were fearing it's an earthquake, so we're looking for where to hide. Yeah, so it's either an earthquake or a tremendous... I don't know whether it's a gas explosion that takes place when the earthquake takes place, or it's an explosion, explosion, but I, I thought it's an earthquake because we were shouting earthquake, earthquake, as we're running and meeting a lot of fallen walls and glass running to the next side. Then there was an explosion over the roof. Ooh, a huge explosion over the roof of this building in this complex, in that particular complex in the dream. And so either the gas lines explode. I don't know what exploded, but we were running, shouting, and uh, say, people are saying, earthquake, earthquake. So we're running, very violent. There was nowhere to run to. It was a very dreadful situation. There was really nowhere to run to. We had nowhere to run to because it was all over. As we ran, it was the next building, the first main building is where there was that shaking, violent shaking, and then the explosion, boom, over the roof. When we came out is when we saw the roof explode, either an explosive or the earthquake set off, set off the gas lines, the gas to explode, and then we are running to the next building and then meeting all the shattered glass and the stones and everything, everybody's running, then realize the next building is also shaking. So, so the, the, this, this is a very big situation of distress. And the Bible speaks very clearly about the distress of this hour. So I see people running. I see very serious emergency. People are running for their lives, but there is nowhere to get to. And the building explodes from the roof on top. A pool, big smoke and over the roof. And then as we are running, we meet fallen glass. and so Meaning this place has also been shaken out here. And then we are running to the next building, but it's also about to explode or about to collapse. There is a situation, either it's an earthquake or it's uh, an explosive that the Lord has shown me. But this is the distress he talked about in the book of Daniel chapter 12, when he said there will be distress as has not been seen since the beginning of the nations. The book of Daniel chapter 12, verses 1 to verse 3, when he's talking about the rapture of the church, the coming of the Messiah, when he comes to take the church, then before then he says there will be tremendous distress. If you read also Matthew, Matthew 24, 21, down there, the great distress that will grip the nation as has not happened before. So this is the sign that the Messiah is coming. The, the prophecies that Jesus gave, lavished the church, and he gave the secret of his coming, is this distress. So let everybody prepare for the coming of the Messiah. Again, the Lord took me at about 1 o'clock today, and he took me to a place where we were in a building. I could even see some people were sitting there talking. It was a building place. It looks like a big building complex. And then all of a sudden, we began to run, and people were shouting, earthquake, earthquake. So we were running away, and the buildings were shaking and collapsing and what. But when we stepped out, then there was the explosion over the roof, a pool that went up as we were running. So even we feared to go to the next building because there was a lot of shattered glass and fallen walls and what. As we were running to try to go to the next one, which was also about to collapse or about to explode. There is a distress of the hour. This is the distress of the hour. The Messiah is coming. Those who are wise, they will always repent and be ready 
for nobody knows the day or the hour when the Messiah comes. This earth is temporary. This is the temporary dwelling. Your citizenship, your home is in heaven. So you'd rather prepare for the kingdom of heaven. Right now, the Lord is purifying worship. He's purifying the hearts of men, preparing them for the coming kingdom of God. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. Good afternoon.